We'll do good evening, good evening. Okay, let's see, let's see who's around, who's around. Ingrid, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. It's okay, teacher, I am fine. That's nice, how was your day? Tell me, did you have a short Friday? No, teacher, I didn't have. I didn't have oh, a regular day. Yes, but it um, was my day was good teacher. Okay. Is I I advanced with my my work. How okay. do you say pendientes? With my pendings. With my pending and very nice the afternoon with my co-workers. Okay. Yes. And you, teacher? Me? Mm. Well, you know, let me see. I I have to take uh, my wife to the doctor. And... Teacher, today yes. is birthday, uh, the, yeah, the, your wife, wife birthday. and your mom. My mother-in-law. Ah. It what happened today? Well, we went for lunch. Ah, okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, it was okay. Yes. Today in the afternoon, oh, I remember I, when I salí, when, get, when go I out, left. When, and I left. when I left, the, this is my office, the traffic is very terrible. Oh, really? Well, I didn't go to some, so, well, I went. Yes. I went to Soyapango actually. Uh, I I live the Flor Blanca. I left. I left from the Flor Blanca to Santa Tecla is complicated. Oh really? Yes. I yo me tardé. I it took me. It took me. It, it took me one hour fifteen minutes. Mm, that's a lot. Yes. Yeah, but you know that's the way. Traffic is like that. Yes, and today Salvador, is... it's Friday and it was uh -huh. payday. Yeah. But very good my day. Well, at least. Yeah, because I mean, some days are like heavier than some others. You know? <laughs> yeah, and traffic, I mean, traffic on a Friday, and if that Friday is payday, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, Sometimes, when, when a car se queda, when a car. Oh, when a car crashes down. When a car crashes down. Crashes, crash. 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 Crashes. Crashes down is more difficult. Yeah, it is. It is. It's similar when they're raining. Oh, when it's raining, it gets crazy. Yes. When it's raining, traffic in the, the walls and Salvador get crazy. I mean, it's terrible, but no. Too many cars and not enough space. Yes. Too many cars, demasiados carros, and not yes. enough space. That's always a problem. I think too. Yeah, but you know, I mean, we need to be patient. We need to. Be, be patient. Be uh, patient. patient. Okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. More patient. Yeah. But I mean, that's the way it goes. Yes. What can we do? I mean, that's every day, every day, every day. And, and there's no option. I think the more traffic in the morning. 
Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends on where you're going because I mean, coming from San Salvador, passing by Soyapango in the afternoon, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. I mean, I was in Soyapango at noon, around 1 p.m. There yeah. was traffic. There was traffic. Really? Yeah, to cross Soyapango took me like half an hour. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. How but do you think? Ni, ni modo, teacher. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what can we do? We can do that. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Mm -hmm. We have to keep on struggling and and that's it. Yeah. And there's no other option. Hey Ingrid, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ivet, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, fine. Fine? Okay. Yes. How was your day? Uh, a lot of work. Um, sleeping, cansado. Um, oh, tired, tired. Tired, okay. Um, um, pero al, al, al finish Friday, Friday, yeah. um, and weekend. Oh, yeah, it's the weekend, it's the weekend. You are like, yeah, the weekend finally. <laughs> yes. Yeah, tomorrow, you don't work tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, no, war, no war. Um, in my my house, house, my house yeah. only. War, my house uh, only. Okay, just the house shirt. Oh, just the house shirt. El Culture? Yeah, el oficio, oh, el yes, yes. Um, um, clean and washing and cooking. Um, um, uh, how, how do you say the todo un poco? Oh, a little bit of everything. A little bit. A little bit of of everything. Oh, like everything. This. A little bit of everything. Okay. Um. Yesterday I left a little. Um. Salí un poco tarde. Um. Um. The car was left. Y y y mi carro pues tuve un pequeño percance por ahí y no alcancé a llegar. Ooh, sí. That's a problem. Yes. Oh, pero, pero, uh, how do you say resolví? Ya resolví. I, I could solve it. I could solve it. Okay. Well, that's nice. I mean, that's great. That's great. Well, thank you, Ivet. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? 
Are you back in San Salvador or still in San Miguel? Uh, back, back Samsung. Oh, that's nice. You home right now? Yes. Back at home, teacher. Okay. That's nice, that's nice. So you are, you feel better, I imagine, being home. It's true. It's better, more, I mean, more comfortable. How was traffic for you? Uh, mm, but, uh, regresé al mediodía, teacher. I was back at noon. I was back at noon. I was back at noon. Regresé al mediodía. Oh, I that's nice. Yes, teacher. Uh, now relax. Oh, that's cool. Did you have dinner already? Yeah. After class, teacher. Oh, okay. You are like me. After class, I have dinner. Yes. Yeah, in my case, I feel I can relax after the class and it's better for me, easier. See more for a lot. Okay, well, nice having you here, Wilfredo. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Chavez, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay. That's great. That's great. And tell me, how was the day? It's Friday. Mm, relaxing. I have a I have a, a a relaxing day. I That's feel cool. Uh, on, just only the the traffic is very very hard all the time, all the morning. I hear it. Okay, yeah, traffic has been crazy, right? Horrible teacher. I feel good right now in, in, at home. That's nice, yeah, of course. When we get home, I mean, even, even if I, the day has been hard, we feel better, right? I feel comfortable right now. What about you, teacher? Well, me, uh, you know, working as usual and having some classes, then running, then I have to take my family for lunch. Uh, I had the time today, but, and running some errands, buying some equipment for my son, man, that's terrible. I think tomorrow you you have a, your day off, right? No, tomorrow is one of the hardest for me. Okay. Tomorrow is my day off only. Oh, that's cool. We have a day right now. Mine is Sunday, but not for long because I guess uh, I guess next week I'm going to start working Sundays too. Really? Where? Yep. Uh, well, I work, I teach for an academy from a city hall. So, so you don't have a day off? Yeah. When I die, I think I will. Oh man, teacher. It's yeah, very hard. Actually, you know, uh, before pandemic, I was I was working full time. I mean, I was working in the morning, I was working for the school, in the afternoon for a school. At night I was working for Centro Cultural. Saturday mornings, I was working for Garcia Flamenco for their academy. And 
Saturday afternoon and Sunday, I was working for Inglés Corporativo. In, in, oh. in, in my case, teacher, uh, I, I, I love to spend my time with my daughters. It's very important for me. Yeah, of course, of course. So in my case, that was hard that time because I mean, uh, I was spending time with my family just Sundays afternoon and and that was it. I went, once I went for four months straight without stopping, not even one day. Okay. It was, it was a little bit hard. Really, really hard teacher. Yeah, well, it was harder before because I mean, there was a time when I was working all day at school, I was finishing classes at 4, 4 20 p.m. And I used to ride in the motorcycle from San Pedro Perulapan, that's uh, in Cuscatlan, all the way yes. to San Jose Villanueva, teach one class and come back home. That was every day. So I was coming home around 9.30 p.m. So you do, uh, I, I think you don't have time. No. For the- uh, As I tell the, you, next for week, well, for, for a couple of months, I will be kind of busy. It's just gonna be, let's see, uh, October, November, December, three months. Three months I'm going to be very busy because uh, we have a project and I need to prepare some people that are going to the state. I have like for the students that for uh, in January or February, I need they need to go to the to the embassy. To the embassy. The embassy. Okay. Yeah. It, to get uh, what embassy teacher? The United States Embassy. Ah, okay, to that's get, great. To get their paperwork because they are going to travel to the states to work. They stay there six months. Then they come back and then we start again another process. But I need, I mean, that's that's the project that is going to take a lot of my time for three months. Really Maybe good. Three to months. Yeah. But uh, yeah, of course, I mean, sometimes it's like that. Uh, but my family knows that sometimes I, if I go like for two or three months straight working from Sunday to Sunday and, and that's it. I mean. Sure. Uh, and what do you think your family about that? They are used to it. Okay. But you got to remember something. I mean, it has not always been like that. I mean, uh, some years are like uh, slower, but uh, the, the now that my son is at the university, he he doesn't spend that much time together. And the good thing is that my wife she spends a lot of time with their family that they live like one block from here. Okay, teacher, I get it. It's not that they are they are alone all the time. It's a little bit hard, but you know, um, in this case, it's because we have some projects and and you know. Money is scared right now. Yeah, and the money uh, and, the, uh, and this time is very important. Yeah, yeah, money is scarce. I mean, you got to fight for it. But scared. as I tell you. Teacher, and, and what's mean scarce? Uh, in this context will be like, uh, como que se esconde, está escaso. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, I know it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but as I tell you, it's not like every day. I mean, it's it's sometimes a couple of months that I that I am in that situation, but the rest of the time I am I am here, and I mean, uh, when when I am when I am free, they know that that I am full time. Like this this past week, I've been like. Uh, I've been here home and I mean, all my time has been for them. Okay, that's great teacher. Maybe, yeah, I mean, you go to the beach or the, or, or the mountain on the on the mall with, with your family. Yeah, we go to the mall, we go, I mean, 
we enjoy some things together, like uh, we love drinking coffee. Uh, yesterday we went to Suchitoto. Okay. So, uh, in my in my case, uh, when I be home uh, at home, uh, I like to cooking. Uh, uh, I like to cooking some stuff. Uh, 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 stuff, maybe meat, hamburger, hot dog. Uh, I like to, I love to cooking for my family. Oh, no, man, don't remind me that. In my family today, I took my wife in the morning to the doctor, to the nutritionist, and my I need to take my son also on Sunday to the doctor because, I mean, he's training, he's preparing for a competition, and we are going to start a new diet. Yeah. That's terrible. It's terrible for me. I mean, I'm not in a diet. They are, but they include me. That's bad. Okay, because teacher. I, I like to eat junk food. That's my problem. Hey, Carlos, nice talking to you. Welcome. Sure, teacher. Thank you. To you. Okay, before I continue. Hmm. Give me just a second before I continue. Let me get the attendance, guys. Just that I don't know, my internet is kind of slow tonight. Give me just a second. Okay, let's see. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Thank you, Gabriel. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Alexander López García. Thank you, Salvador. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. And Carlos Josué Chávez. Okie dokie. Present, teacher. Thank you, mister. Okay, guys. Well, Let's continue. Let's see. Let's see. Who I was talking to? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Veronica. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, but I died. You're tired, I can imagine. It's the end of the week. At the end of the week, we all are like, ah, we want to rest. And right? two hours of traffic. Oh, yeah. Traffic has been terrible all day long. At least it didn't rain because when it rains, it gets worse. Not rain, but it's terrible. 
Yeah, I know, I know. It's been terrible, but what we gonna do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Okay, and tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Tomorrow, work. But oh, really? only in the morning and in the afternoon, maybe I will go to the beach. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Sunday, in my house, only in my house. Okay. That's nice. Tell me, where are you going? You are told me you are going to the beach. Which which one? Mm, rapid, please. Okay, you are going to the beach. Where are you going? Are you going to La Costa del Sol, La Libertad? Where are you going? Mm, mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. La Libertad, maybe La Libertad. Maybe La Libertad. Okay, that's nice. It's good to know that you're going to have fun. It's good to relax. Mm, yes, I I was a uh, difficult week. Yeah, uh, I can I can understand that. Welcome to the class, Veronica. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Today we are going to go to work a little bit from the manual, but we are also going to have a short conversation because we got. Uh, some some stuff from the manual, but don't worry. It's gonna be like, it's not that heavy. It's not that heavy because what we are going to do, a short conversation and we are going to talk about schedules, okay? Regular schedules, but right now we are going to practice a little bit more speaking one-on-one. -on -one. So let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Rosalina, hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story. Working, working, and sometimes working. <laughs> yes, yeah. I agree with Veronica. Today is so hard because we have a supervisor for the construction, and then I all day so tired, but I right now I, I feel better because the English class is, is opposite. The whole activities is nice and enjoy this time. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, in my case, I'm the same. The same, no? I'm the same. I mean but the problem is for me is the is uh, I finished the the job and come back my house, but the phone always, always, oh. you know, call me yeah. and some problems and something. I yeah. I, I cannot I say. Got, I got two cell phones. Yes, always. I it's got hard. two cell phones. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have to have two cell phones in order. You to, do? I mean, yeah, I got two. Yeah. I got in one. I got. Uh, I got the, the the contacts from from two of my jobs, and in the other one, excuse me, the camera is okay. Mm -hmm. And in the other one, I got the contacts uh, like from here and from the other academy. So I mean, oh, I have separated. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah. You need to yeah. check on board the classmate. <laughs> oh, and I also got there the 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 what's how you call it? Oh, also got the groups from the university, what the classes I am studying. So Oops. workaholic. <laughs> a little bit out of need. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Is the life. Is the life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what we're gonna do? Okay, vamos a hacer. 
Yeah. That's life. That's life. That's life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then um, enjoy the life, enjoy the job. And como se dice, depende como lo veas. It depends on how you how you see it. Okay, depends how you see. Because another yeah. other other people don't have job, uh, have some difficult ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. I mean, mm -hmm. we have to make do. Yeah. Que ver cómo le hacemos. Uh, yes. That's the way. That's the way. Okay, okay. But it's cool. It's cool. Rosalina, yeah. welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Mailing. Hello, Mailing. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm fine. Can you? I'm just fine, you know. I mean, working as usual and trying to, to get everything ready on time, but, you know, some days are busier than some others. What about you? How was your day? Okay. Uh, um, today I visit, visit my best friend. I'm sorry. Today I visit visit, visit my my best my I'm a, so my best friend. Mm, I don't <laughs> quite hear you properly. Hello. Hello. Today you visited who? I visit my my best teacher. <coughs> my best friend. Oh, you visited <coughs> your best friend. <coughs> yes. Okay. Where does your bro your best friend lives? She lives in. Uh, Ciudad Arce, Santa Rosa. Mm. Ciudad Arce, oh yeah, I know. So, how was the, the, the travel? How was the trip for you? Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh. Oh. How was the travel for you? A good travel, difficult? Uh Yes, uh, the travel uh, is um, not, no via traffic. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. And hey, what's the plan for the weekend? Uh, tomorrow I go, uh, this is not, uh, Again, <laughs> because um, she made she made uh, some bad quality for him. Okay, yeah. That's cool. Interesting. Meili, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Let's see. Yeah, still got time. Carla, hello. How are you? Hola, Lizette. Okay, let's see. Luis Antonio, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I am driving, teacher. Okay, no problem. From, Let me know. From my, Let me know. My, my... Okay, Let teacher. me know when you're ready, okay? No problem, no problem. Okay. I understand. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Magdaleno. Hi, teacher. What happened? <clears throat> Where are Hi. you, Magdaleno? <laughs> Hi, teacher. I am... For doing the, the long story short, 
Tomo uh, tomorrow on Sunday we will no we are going a party no, activity no party an activity to close the the Independence Month. Oh really? And That's we nice. are uh, yeah and the church we have a at um, church a school at church we have a school a, a College is right in English, a uh, college. No, right? No, no. College is uh, like, uh, like ITCA. Ah, uh, es como be... un colegio, entonces, ¿cómo sería? Private school. What? Private school. Uh, ah, escuela privada, private school. Yeah. Okay, we have, we have a private school. And uh, we are celebrating the the end of the Independence Day, the Independence Month, the with closing. all the closing. Ah, yeah, closing. Jerome, where is Jerome? So, what what have you prepared? I don't get you. What have you prepared for the activity? Uh, <clears throat> with the families, um, or better say, with the parents, with the boys, and with the children's parents, uh, uh -huh. we are preparing different business. For example, one grade are uh, one grade are selling, um, I don't know what, like, how I can say, uh, um, tostadas, fries maybe, fries, other, other, um, other are selling, other one are selling uh, drinking. Drinks? Or drinks, drinks. Okay. And in like that. Case, in this case, soft drink. Soft drinks. Yeah. O sea, bebidas no alcohólicas, soft drinks. Yeah, soft drinks. Mm, yeah. And we will have, uh, no, and we are having, we are having artist, artistic presentation. Nosotros tendremos presentaciones artísticas, is it right? Okay, yeah. Wow. We are having artistic presentation with the, with the younger children. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. Tom I expect that tomorrow we are receiving, receiving maybe around two thousand people, two thousand people in the private school. Okay, wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot of people. The last two days. Uh, where the last two days were so busy, the, the days, the days were, were short for me. Yeah, usually when we are preparing for an activity that is kind of big, I mean, that happens usually that the, the previous time when we are preparing and selling everything, it's, it's stressful and, uh, and I mean, those extracurricular activities, for me, are more stressful than than regular classes. Yeah, some more stressful. They are they are more stressful. Yeah, but I mean, uh, the important part is that the kids enjoy it. And that's what matters. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy that because because the the children in the last activity in the Independence Day. We have a, a, a similar activity that, that tomorrow. 
and really I enjoy so so I saw their faces and I I really love that they are they were they were they were enjoying that really we have a tournament we had a tournament a soccer tournament and the the other things the selling selling the business and presentation with the young hair like like tomorrow well Let's hope everything turns out okay and you can have your activity as you want, as you expect. Yes, God willing. God willing. Uh, arriving at home, yes. Okay, well, thank you, Magdaleno. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Quite busy, quite busy, my friend. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, time, yeah, still got five more minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Salvador Alexander, hello. How are you? Salvador, hello. We don't hear you. Hello, hello, now we got you. Okay, my microphone is bad. I am, I am, okay. I am fine. I am fine, teacher. Never been better. Um, it, and now it's a, it's a pie day, dear Paul. Oh, pie day. Yes, Pi Day. I mean, never been better. It is money. Yeah, of course, of course. Yes. And Alto is is a sad, and also also money never is enough. Yeah, I mean. With a couple of millions, I will be happy. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, uh, the, the money never is now. Uh, um, the, 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 everything is expensive and not constant here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the cost of life is expensive right now. Yes, everything is is expensive. Yeah, but I mean, what we're but, gonna do? We have to keep on struggling. Hello. What can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? We have to keep on struggling. Yes, we can. We can. We do. Okay. Struggling. I mean, struggling is like uh, I can say it like this in the lucha. This, yeah. And you, teacher, what do you plan for the weekend? For the weekend, tomorrow work and receive classes from the university, then work and that's my whole day. Oh, I got a meeting at 11. I have to, I have a meeting at 11.30. I have a meeting with the, with the mayor of a town, for a project. 
I hope that's going to take me like one hour, then pass by home just saying hi, paso por la casa, and then I need to go teach another class. Saturday you, are hectic. You don't, you don't have a time free? Yeah, Do some, some days. Some only Sundays. Sunday. Only Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, next week's going to be difficult for me because I'm going to start working, like, let's see, from 7 to 4 in one place, from 5 to 6.30 in another place, from 7 to 7.50 an online class, and from 8 to 10 this class. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have my day full. Yeah. But but is but is necessary time time free and um, um yeah um, yeah I do um, that when yes I, when I, I spend time with with the family and um, uh, it is necessary for for me it's necessary I spend time with with the family. Yeah, the good thing is that my family is very sure. We are just three members. And yeah. oh, on Sunday, I'm going to go visit my dad and my sister because my mother is out of the country. She's in Costa Rica right now. Yeah. So I'm going um, to go visit my, my dad. And uh, on Sunday, I'm going, I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to um, break ties out. Complete the media. Break ties out. Oh, really? Um, this is uh, uh, she. She living. She's living in Armenia. Something like that. Okay, really. Um, it's, it's a meeting. A meeting. Familiar. Okay, a family meeting. Oh, well, it's not a meeting. Actually, when it's a family, uh, what you got are like, um, how can I tell you? Give me a second. When it's the family, it's a family um, gathering. Ah, okay, okay. This is new. Gathering. Family gathering. Yeah, family gathering. Oh, okay. You can say a, a get together. That's another one. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, on Sunday, I'm uh, going to uh, gathering family. And... No, family gathering. Family gathering. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, um, and up in the afternoon and um, in the evening I I um boy star I am I going will be, be I, I, I will be I will be in my uh, at my home at home I will be at home and I am I am I am going to movies on Netflix. Okay, that's nice. Yes, it's my my weekend. I'm sorry, repeat please. Uh, this is my weekend and and watch watch TV and I spend time with my family. Uh, Okay, well, that's nice that you can relax like that. Yeah, I don't watch TV that much. And to be honest, no, my TV here is for my wife and my son. Okay. And, and well, teacher, thank you, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. And when when I watch TV, um, I I put the the subtitle subtitles. Oh, the titles, yeah. It's uh, better. Really? 
it's but, better. But you got to listen in English and the titles in English. No, no. Uh, I I put the subtitle in English, but the audio in Spanish. Okay, you need to try to get the titles in English and the audio also in English. What you can do is this. Watch uh, if you are using uh, one of those streaming apps, networks, uh, watch, watch a movie or watch a series, one chapter in your language, in Spanish. So you can, so you can get like acquainted to familiarize with the, with the context. Then watch it again, but audio in English and titles in English. That way you are going to be relating what you remember with the information provided there. It's going to help you more. Okay. Okay, two times. Two times. Yeah. yeah, that way, that way, I mean, it's like when we start reading in English, I mean. Okay. Look, I've been, I've been speaking English. Well, I've been teaching English for 22 years. I've been speaking English like almost, almost 30 years. And I got a bunch of books right here. Uh, mostly in English and I read them once, twice. I mean, there are books that I have read four times and every time I read it, I remember vocabulary or I get new vocabulary or I understand better a situation. So uh, when we are learning a language, it's always good to, to, to reread, to read, listen, to listen again. I mean, it helps. Okay. Okay. Mister, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Now we are going to talk about schedule. Schedules. I told you at the beginning we were going to talk about schedule. And the first activity is this. Look, it's quite simple. You're going to talk a little bit among yourselves. Uh oops, I'm sorry. What is the what is know what this, uh, what is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace what is i'm sorry i forgot the is uh, does everybody have a specific schedule to follow let me write it better so you don't have a mistake it's like this look what is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? I mean, uh, sometimes in companies, I mean, not everybody works the same amount of time. Like uh, if you're the boss, sometimes you got to work more. Sometimes depending on your position or what you, the activities you perform, uh, perhaps you work less or you work more. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. In one of my jobs, uh, I am the vice principal. Uh, last night, I went to bed at 1.30 a.m. I was getting some information into the national system and I have to. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that happens. So that's what I want you to talk about. What's your schedule? How many hours do you work? Does everybody in your company work the same amount of hours? Those are the questions you are going to be asking your classmates. Okay. So you will have uh, you will have just four minutes for this activity. Today we are just a few of us, so it's going to be easy. It's just going to be for groups. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. Groups are open, guys. Four minutes. Hello, teacher. Let me get you to a group, mister. Okay.
Um, uh, rather, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say rotativo, teacher? Rotative. Schedule rotative. Rotative. Hey, you rotate rotative. your chip. Rotate, you rotate your chip. Your chip? Yeah. Okay, in my workplace, um, some employees have rotate, rotate shift, and other one have a special eight hour per day. Someone you can say, you can say rotating special. Rotating, rotating. In Jiram, rotate in Jiram, right? Rotating. Rotating. Yes. yes, it just remember that in this case, it's not a verb, it's a noun. Yeah, rotating the schedule. Okay, uh, some somebody of them have rotating the schedule, and um, especially the people who is. Uh, working mid time and who have part time part time uh, oh. ah part time part time is part time and all the time whole time full is time full time okay part time full, full is time. medio tiempo yep uh huh Okay, we have we have two two kind of, of employees. One part is in part time, <coughs> and other part is in full time. Especially the teacher. <laughs> so sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, stop! Stop to smoke, please. It's bad yeah, for you. you. You should. Okay. In my workplace, um, how employees work to uh, from eight thirty to four thirty p.m. and uh, we work um, full time. Uh, all employees work full time. And if we we have a event or activity event. in the, an event, event, an event. If if we have an event or another activity in the weekend. Mm, we we have to work Saturday or Sunday too. Oh, that's nice. You, yeah. Oh, you're you a psychologist, right? Veronica, you work. You work. In constructions. No. What is your work? No. Where do you work? My work. Yeah, yeah your job, yeah. your company. I I work in Indes in the in the Palacio de los Deportes. How is it? For Palace Sport. Sport Palace. Ah, really? Yeah. You are a seller. Mm. Que es seller. <laughs> Vendedoras, ¿no? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Perdí. Mm. Okay. The other one is, does everybody have a specific education to follow? What do you, what do you, what do you think about that, Veronica? Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Yes. 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 Yes.
Mm. My workplace. Yes, but. Other in other work uh, is part of us that make us is. Eight hours every day. Eight hours. Oh, teacher, yes, uh, the question, the question refer to the activities or the hours. The spec a specific schedule to follow is an uh, specific activities or a specific um hours yes, in the world yes but oh what of one what of each one it's up it's up to you i mean it depends on the context remember that the situation here is that we are having the conversation in a very specific in a very short context but on a regular conversation how would you do it what what are you asking repeat the question Okay. Um, okay. Does everybody have an a specific schedule to follow? Yes, they do. Very simple. You will need to make a follow up. Oh yes, everybody has to follow an specific schedule. Well, no, not everybody. Like my uh, one of my job. The principal, I mean, he sometimes leaves early. He's allowed to leave early. Sometimes he mm. decides to stay until later. So it depends on the context on the and in the person who is answering to you. If he or she wants to provide more information. Yes, yes, I understood that. Okay. It's okay. Back. Okay, guys, that was the preparation for the next activity. What is the next activity? Okay, we got us here a conversation. Okay. The conversation is in page number 23 from your manual. And let me share with you. Okay. You see the screen? Yes, right? Okay. The conversation goes like follows. Hey, Matthew, how is it going?
Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Remember, Matthew's part starts right here, according, okay? I repeat. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. I repeat one more time. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, guys, this conversation is very, very short, right? So we are going to practice it as we were the other day. You remember as we were yesterday, working in groups so you can interact with somebody else, not just with one person. Just let me send you the screenshot. So you can have the conversation there ready. Okay, here we go. This is perfect. Okay, guys, groups are open right now.
60 seconds, guys. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to be back. Okay, let's see. Ready? Xiomara and Rosalina, you start. Xiomara, you are going to start. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late chip for this coming weekend? Ben. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Evening. Evening. Evening, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, next one. Uh, uh, um, Yvette and Veronica. Okay, teacher. Um, my fifth. Yes, please, Yvette, you start. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I believe that everyone is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Evening shift, evening shift. Evening shift, okay. Eve, evening, evening. Eve, evening. Okay, perfect. Okay. Wilfredo okay. and Magdaleno. Wilfredo, you are going to start. Hey, Matthew. How is, is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right, look. Who has the early and later skills for this coming weekend? According, according to the schedule, 
Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and evening shift. Okay, thank you very much. And let's see. Mailing? Yes, it's you and Salvador Alexander. Okay. Salvador, are you ready? <coughs> Let's wait for Salvador. Give me a second. Ready, Salvador? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, you start, Salvador. Okay. <coughs> hey, Matthew. <coughs> How are you going? Very good, then. I really that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who was the hardy and late chief for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark, Mark and Sophie have the morning and the afternoon shift. Hi. And John and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, okay. perfect. Early, Salvador. Early. 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 Okay. Let's see. Luis Antonio, you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, Carla. Yes. Okay, Luis Antonio, you start. Okay, teacher. Hey, Matthew. How's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shifts for the coming weekend? According to the sketchup, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kat have the evening shift. Okay, perfect. Carla, stay here. Uh, Carla and Antonio Rodas. Carla, you start. Nice hey, you Matthew. Ready? You eat this. Please continue, Carla. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Matthew. Who is it going? Very good, Ben. I relieve that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, how, how has the every early and late chief of, of, of this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon chief, and Tom and Kate have the evening chief. Okay, the word is casual. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank Casual. you, Carla. You are so very kind. Okay. Okay, guys. Next activity. Uh, let's see. We are going to go back to the manual. There's a schedule there. Okay that we need to analyze. Let me share with you the, the schedule there's in the manual, okay? Okay, if you notice the schedule goes like this, we got the, we got the schedule of a restaurant and we have a couple of questions. First, we got the cashier. The cashier and we got the time, look, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and so forth until 10 p.m. So we got cashier Kimberly Thompson from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 3 p.m. I guess it's closed. Then Pamela Driss. Cynthia Lil is also a cashier. Oh, look. Karen Wilkins is, all, is the cashier that is covering from 3 to 10. You see, they divide the time. They cover for each other, right? Now, look, cook, 
Kevin Dolly is the cook in the morning until 3 p.m. And Kevin and Karen and Matteo and Linda are the cook in the rest of the day. We got the manager, just one manager. We got order taker and we got the waiter. So we got order taker are, let's see, one, two, three, four person. And waiters are also four. We got Walter Omo, Matthew Tool, Gustavo Guandique, and Oscar Sagrari. Okay. These are the, the people who work in the restaurant. We got first these two questions. Yes, Magdaleno. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What's the what is the difference between order taker and waiter? Oh, because it's not, it, it's not the same person? Not always. In some in some restaurants, the one person takes the order and the waiter is the one who delivers the order. I mean, in some restaurants, the person who who takes note of what you order is one person. Yeah. But the one in charge of delivering is another one. Because okay. the, the waiter, for example, is in charge also of, of taking your dishes when you finish. The order taker doesn't. That person is just taking mm -hmm. the order. The difference is this. In some restaurants, the order taker that person makes suggestions. They know the whole part of their job is to know the whole menu, make suggestions according to what you are asking. So it's a different type of job. Yeah, in Cadejo, for example, who take orders for important clients is the wider shift. Yeah. Yeah, she and, only I mean, take the orders. Yeah, it's like uh, uh, it's like in some restaurants <clears throat> in here in Rosalba, right? I know a couple of restaurants that, as you said, uh, I know a restaurant in by Santa Rosa where that when an important client or a regular client and a special client comes by, the the kind of clients that spend a lot of money. I mean, it's the the manager or the 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 chief manager, the general manager or the chief manager who goes talk to the person, you know, like greet them, make little conversation, make suggestions, explain the specialties of the day, takes the order and then sends the waiter to serve them. But actually yeah. the people, the people feel like the one who's attending them is the manager. Yeah. That's that's feel why it, we got two different positions. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Any other question, guys? Okay. Now we go to our activity. But first, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay. There you got the schedule. I'm giving you the schedule right now because we got questions in page number 24 from our manual. We got to read the schedule again and answer the questions below. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? What does Matthew do? Okay, these are the questions we got to work with, okay? The ones that we are going to answer, again, we are going back to work uh, as groups, okay? For you to answer those questions. So let me send you to the groups. Five minutes to answer those questions, okay? You need to analyze the schedule and then answer the question. Ready, guys? Let's do it then. Five minutes.
Yeah. And number two, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Is, is Jennifer is, Rodriguez. Is it general, verdad? Jennifer Rodriguez. Yes, Jennifer Rodriguez. Okay, who's in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Hello? You who, is in, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Uh, Jorge. Is Jorge Milano and Carlos. No, they are or the taker, but waiter are Walter Omo and Matthew too. Okay, so is Walter Omo and Matthew too. Yes, the, the waiter is the one who is in charge of waiting tables. Mm -hmm. The other ones are order taker. Okay, yes, you should. We had we had doubt about it. But I put uh, order taken. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Walter Omo. Um, A cuatro dice take order. Mm. Ajá, dice que who is in charge? Of taking uh -huh. orders during the morning. Uh -huh. okay. Y quien toma las órdenes en la mañana es Jorge Milano. Jorge Milano. Take the orders. Who takes the order? Take your orders. Uh -huh. okay. And then okay. we have a problem because in number one, no is Jorge Milano. No, in number one, Walter Omo and Matthew Tool wait yes. tables in the morning shift. Oh, oh, then, teacher, waiting table is, is the same the waiter. Yes, the waiter oh, okay. is the one who waits tables. Ah, es trampa de la número uno. Ok. Ok, okay ladies, pongamos entonces. Walter, Walter Omo. Omo. Walter Omo. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. And Matthew. Matthew yeah, the, the last one, what does Matthew do? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. A okay. ver... Me hace falta la tres a mí que no le he contestado todavía. Es Kevin Dooley. Y Karen Kevin Dooley. Dooley y Karen Dooley. Ah, yeah. sí, es el, el cocinero, ¿verdad? Los cocineros del turno de la mañana, dice Morning sí, Chief. Y Karen. And the... y... Sixty seconds, guys. Going to recall you back.
Okay, let's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made a mistake and I sent everybody back to their rooms. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mr. You back. Sí, usted que ha sido una semana algo difícil, que he andado por todos lados, no he podido estar cabal en las clases, sí, bien incómodo. Yeah. I know, I know. Maylin, how are you doing? I hear you are having throat problems, right? You got a cough. You were coughing. Are you sick? Ah, a little bit, but wow. it's it's chronic. Oh really? That's yeah, bad. because uh, something depends the 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 uh, where uh, no yes where. Okay, well, so sorry to hear it. I hope you get better, guys. I am so sorry by mistake. I click on another box and I send you back again. My bad, I'm sorry, my apologies. No problem, okay. teacher. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because they told me, oh man, Rosalina's gonna be angry at you. And I was so- Oh, angry. it's false, it's false. <laughs> I'm laughing only. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. These are the answers, look. Walter Omo and Matthew Tool wait tables in the morning shift. Jennifer manages the restaurant. Kevin and Karen Dolly are in charge of the kitchen. Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian are in charge of taking orders during the morning shift. Matthew waits tables. You got it like that? Let me repeat again. Don't worry, I will send you the screenshot, okay? Walter Omo and Matthew Tool wait tables in the morning shift. Jennifer manages the restaurant. Kevin and Karen Dooley are in charge of the kitchen. Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian are in charge of taking orders during the morning shift. Matthew wait tables. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me get you the answers. So you can have them there easier. Okay. There you go. Well, now guys, speaking time, we're going to have a conversation. I got a couple of questions for you. Our topic for tonight, it's going to be, let me see the one that I have. Oh, no, that one, no. Okay. Let's see. We are going to talk about stress. Everybody has been talking about stress and we are going to be using simple present because that actually is the activity. If you notice, everything we have been practicing is simple present, okay? So now the questions we are going to talk about are this one. Well, the first set of questions because we are going to have more than one. Do you think it's stress is ever good, useful, or necessary? Why or why not? Do you play games or sports that are sometimes stressful? Or when can stress be a good thing? Now, uh, you need to ask and answer those questions. Like in the case of the second, the one about uh, games that are stressful. Whenever I play video games, if I play video games, I get stressed. I mean, that thing is not 
relaxing for me. For me to play video games stress me a lot. I don't know why. I'm not that good at them, perhaps. So that could be an example. Now, I need you, I want you to get in the groups, five minutes, come back here, a couple of questions here, then I will send you with another set of questions. I will be jumping from group to group, but please try to use English because I hear sometimes people speaking in Spanish and remember this is the English practice. If you need help, call me. I will be moving from group to group, okay? So uh, let me send you to the groups. Five minutes. Okay, okay, I am found, I am uh, looking for the question. Okay, wait a minute to give me a minute, please. A minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. okay, Veronica, do you think stress is, very, uh, is ever good, useful, or necessary? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think that stress is good sometimes and sometimes is bad. And I, de hecho, como lo digo, no sé cómo es. I, I don't know how I say in English, but uh, uh, stress good is eustrés in Spanish. And stress bad is distress in Spanish, but I, I don't know in English. And okay. Is there a good so, stress? Yes, in Spanish is eustrés, is, ¿cómo se dice? Positivo. Positive. Positive stress. And negative <coughs> stress is distress. So for me, there <laughs> is good stress and bad stress. Today is the first is my first time with these terms. Today is my yeah. first time that I yeah. listen that. Every day we learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's the, good day? Thing. that's the good thing of having a psychologist here. <laughs> ah. you, can, you can psychologist. 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 Search. Psychology. Search. Search is buscar. Search. Veronica, why? Uh, what is one example of good stress? Uh, I good don't stress? remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Only, only remember that. When it perhaps when it motivates you, perhaps when it motivates you to perform better. Uh, I, I don't understand. Can you repeat? Quizás cuando lo motiva uno a trabajar mejor, a desempeñarse mejor. Mm -hmm. Could it be an example? Mm -hmm. I am imagining. Imaginando es imagining. Imagining. Mm -hmm. Imagining. I am. Im I am imagining um, 
in the war in a battle in a battle a soldier is um, is fighting with with, with him weapon it is a stress it's so stressful but oh yeah but it keeps you alive <laughs> maybe it's good stress mm -hmm. yeah it keeps you alive for, for example um, an, an example when when you have bad stress is when when you have a new job is more stress but is tal vez un ascenso <laughs> eh, mm. or, or when, when you when when you have a como se dice un hijo a, a son son es más más work more, more gastos but puede ser estrés positivo nah, it is not positive <laughs> bueno pero es estrés pero no es no es bad estrés Okay, and then what is my stress? And by stress, common yeah. stress, um, lot, a lot of work on traffic. Okay, okay, I understood that. The good stress is, is when I am so nervous for something. I'm so nervous because uh, yes. I... Uh, I have to see my girlfriend in a few minutes. I'm so nervous. I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. And for example, if you pay a new house, you you have to to sixty seconds, guys. Excuse me, teacher, may I question? Yes, yeah, sure, ask me. Uh, when you explain another classmate, you say, yeah, um, when I watch the movie or the whatever program, is is better put the sub subtitles in English? Subtitles, yes. Subtitles in English? Yes. Okay. And the audio in English, that way you are going to. But what I recommend is this, well, uh, let's huh. see. I will switch into Spanish for a second, guys, so everybody can understand completely the explanation. Okay, lo que yo le recomendaba era esto. Si usted se va a poner a ver un programa o una película, uh -huh. este, vea una que ya conoce. Que ya ah, conoce. okay. Uh -huh. That way, you watch it, you listen in English, and you read in English. De esa manera usted ya entiende el contexto. Entonces va a estar relacionando un conocimiento previo del contexto con la pronunciación y el texto. Ah, okay. El contexto 
Van uh -huh. a haber palabras que, o frases que usted no las podrá entender, pero sí va a, no sé cómo se dice en español, inferir. You're going to infer. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Inferir the meaning. Ajá. The meaning, ok. Uh -huh. El significado, usted va a captar el significado por contexto. Hoy sí le entendí. Sí, perdón, es que me quedé en el aire, por eso dije, le iba a preguntar. Ya, yeah, I understand what, what did you say. Because you say Spanish and then English. But it's better the idea. Watch a movie again because I know the arguments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, a pleasure. Always a pleasure, guys. Okay, let's see. Stress, Carla, tell me. Do you think stress is very good, useful, or necessary? What do you think? Um, for me, yes. Okay, tell me why. Um, <clears throat> keep me away. Um, Me tiene despierta, no sé. Si. Oh, okay. It keeps me away. Oh, it sharpens your senses. Me tiene más en sintonía. Yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> what about you, Wilfredo? Is stress good or bad for you? Good, sure. It's good? Yes, teacher. Interesting. For, Very interesting. Yes, tell me, tell me. Well, it's necessary because it's indicated that your body needs red. Ready, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sometimes you need to be like... Let's see, what about you, um, Antonio? Thank you, Wilfredo, appreciate it. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, it's not necessary. I don't like be stressed because I I talk to with Salvador and I I I told her I told him that sometimes can be can create a problem with a, another person or your or your own relative. <clears throat> Because it, it depends on the temper, temperament. I don't know how do you say yeah, this. The mood, the mood. Yeah, everybody's yes. mood. Mm -hmm. Sometimes can be create a problem. And also can be problem with your with your work, with your job. Okay. Interesting. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Now we are going to listen to another type of opinion. Veronica, please help us. For me, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Okay, why good? <laughs> I, I was saying to you and to Magdalena uh, that there are good stress or positive stress and negative stress. And positive is of stress and negative is distress. An example of positive stress is for example when when you when you buy a new house you have a beautiful house or new house but you you have to pay this this house is Oh, that is positive stress. Okay. House. 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 If you say house, you're talking about uh, the manguera. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, the difference is just one letter. Close. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Magdalena, what about you? Okay, in my opinion, the stress is not good because the stress take out the, the sleep, the sleep, no. Yeah, uh, take sleep. out the guitar, it's right. El sueño, it's me quita el sueño. No. Private. Okay. How? Huh? Deprives, deprives sleep. Deprives, ah, deprives. Deprives, yes, deprives sleep. Okay, for me, the stress is not good. The stress is, is such psychological pressure in, in my mind. And is by the stress. I, under, I understand for stress, the sensation when you feel preoccupation, when you feel worry, worry, pay, worry. when you feel worry, about something for example i don't have money and the bills is here oh uh, that's every day <laughs> ah, welcome to the club yes <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah. another thing is i don't know when my when my wife have your monthly you know what is that yeah this is stress. This is stress. Yeah, well, look. I gave you something. Uh, just to, for you to feel. Uh, my wife, is, today is her birthday. Uh, my grandmother, my mother-in-law's birthday. So she was worried for some preparations. And she had an appointment, a doctor appointment, because she broke her finger in two parts. Her pinky? Your wife? Yeah. And let's see what else. Oh, she got the flu. She got the wow. flu. Wow. And she had a little problems with the with her. Uh, she had a little problem with her. Uh, what she call it? Uh, 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 um, with her gastritis. Gastritis. So, yeah, so that's a stressful. <laughs> yeah, that's I can imagine that. Well, thank you, Magdalena. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Rosalina, what about you? Tell me, what's your opinion? Okay, I don't like the stress because uh, when I feel very stressed, I have a, a high adrenaline, and after this, I feel so tired and maybe angry and then I don't like the stress. You don't like the stress? Yeah, well, some some people like to work under pressure. They yeah. need stress yes. to, to perform better. Yeah. I know that, that people, happens. because don't have a stress, say, oh no, I'm so um, worrying and something. Always need adrenaline for function, but for me, no, no. I think it's, it's better the life step by step. Yeah, well, eh, I mean, it varies. <laughs> In my case, to be honest, I need to be under pressure to, to perform better. Ah, okay, yeah, yes. I need, I need to be under pressure and I need deadline. Mm. That way I, I work better. I know. I know, yeah, it depends on the, the personality of, of the job, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because okay, Carlita guys. says she likes oh, the stress. Yeah, <laughs> Carla says, oh, she. She, she says it's wake up and, and, and very happy when feel stressed. <laughs> no, but it's nice. I yeah, think it's Carla, Carla says that stress fills her up with. Yeah, <laughs> yes. 
So, Mara, nice. what about you? Thank you, Rosalina. Okay, you're welcome. <clears throat> Xiomara, you there? I don't see Xiomara. What about you, Yvette? Tell me, do you like stress? Do you think stress is good for you? Um, I stress is never good for me. Why not? Um, because it put me in, in a bad mood. It makes me really hungry. <laughs> okay, interesting. Hungry or angry? Oh, um, hungry, enojada, o molesta? Angry, angry. Uh, okay. Angry. angry is con hambre. Oh, <laughs> ah, pero. Um, some people, it, it bad, happens bad, to some people. Bad. They get stressed, they get anxious, and they eat. Uh, what is it to 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 hungry to hungry? <laughs> yeah, also. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Miss. Okay, teacher. Let me get the final attendance, guys. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol, Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo, Gabriel Beltran Pérez, Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Blina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino, Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández, Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, Richa. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Thank you, Gabriel. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Thank you, Magdaleno. Present. Thank you, Maylene. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Salvador Alexander López García. Present, teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. En Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, remember, please, to work in the platform. Remember that for Tuesday, we need to finish, to have finished the section one, two, and the midterm. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Guys, have a good night. Enjoy it. And have good a good night. weekend. You too, teacher. See you the morning. The, the Monday. See you Monday. In the morning. No, oh, in the morning, no. Tomorrow, I see tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow. Monday, Monday. Good night. Have a good, good night. night. Take care, guys. See you Monday. Teacher. Yes. Tuve problema. Ya pasó lista. Yes, Xiomara. And you were absent. Ah, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Xiomara, do you have a second? Tiene un minuto? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Let me just do a little something here. Es que tuve problemas con el internet. Okay. Are you working on a computer or are you working on a cell phone? Ahorita en mi computer. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm going to send you something. Le envío algo acá para que usted pueda trabajar. Le compartí acá un enlace, ya lo ve. Aquí en el chat de, de Zoom.
escucharlo al grito, teacher. Okay. Now, what you got there? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos ahí? We got us a list. Tenemos una lista, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay. Le dice easy. Si usted baja, scroll down. Si le da un poquito abajo, le aparece la palabra easy y luego aparece una lista en azulito. Sí. Sí. Okay. Excepto el primero. El primero no. The one that says a day at school, no. Mm -hmm. The rest of the. Vamos al primero, que dice a fun day. ¿Lo tiene? Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. What we got there? ¿Qué tenemos ahí? Eh, no aparece still listening script, eh, back, y luego dice language. Y si usted le da para bajito, le aparece como, como un play, ¿verdad? Es un audio. Ok, no lo vamos a hacer, pero le doy las instrucciones. Si usted le da play, va a escuchar un audio. Sí. Ok. Luego le aparecen una preguntita o de complementar y opciones. Cuando usted le da una de las opciones, le va a decir si está correcta o si está incorrecta. Si está correcta, la va a poner en verde. Ok. Si no, le va a decir. Luego, si se va hasta abajo, tiene varias opciones. Tiene una que es vocabulary practice. Y es para practicar vocabulario. Gap, fill, exercise. Y aparece un enlace que le va a abrir otro. Tiene un post listening y luego tiene investigation. Yeah. Pero más, más abajito mm -hmm. tiene donde dice see listening script. Sí. Si usted le da eso, va a tener nuevamente el play y le da usted play y va a poder ir leyendo lo que va escuchando como un último repaso al haber terminado el ejercicio se va nuevamente a back back to easy o back to listening back to listening lo regresa al mismo ejercicio back to easy al listado okay? uh -huh, what you okay. get there is a list of exercises listening exercises that are going to help you to practice and improve more le van a ayudar a practicar y a mejorar Ah, ok, sure. Lo voy a revisar entonces. Ok, now, my recommendation. Mi recomendación. One, one per day. Ok, uno. Two the most. Dos lo más. Ok, no more. Ok. Puede ser dos, pero ya si usted se va tres o cuatro veces nos emocionamos, el problema es que de tantos que va a querer hacer, se le va a olvidar. Ah. Mientras que si usted le dedica tiempo, eh, mire, tenemos que tomar en cuenta que ustedes trabajan, eh, en su caso ama de casa también, ¿verdad? Tiene muchas actividades, ¿sí? Entonces, sí, sí. si usted encima de eso le agrega dos horas de clase por la noche y le quiere agregar una hora más, Quizás no les funcione mucho porque ya andamos demasiado estresados y cansados. Sí, sí. Entonces, es de aprovechar los minutos, los minutos que tengamos. A menos que usted tenga tiempo, recesos largos en el día, o quizás en el almuerzo hacer uno, por la noche hacer otro. ¿Ya? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, voy a empezar por Uh -huh. dependerá del tiempo y poco a poco se le va a ir haciendo más fácil el ejercicio al principio pero quizás lo va a escuchar tres, cuatro veces lo mismo mm, okay. Okay. Sí, sí, primero sí, que también. aparece ahí a day at school ese no se lo recomiendo para que inicie no se te Porque, hace bien, adelante sí, le va a ser un poquito frustrante el problema es que es un chico hablando es un chico japonés si no me equivoco hablando en inglés It's difficult for listening. Ah, ok, teacher. Es un poquito difícil de comprender. Y cualquier duda, por favor, me contacta. Sí, sí, de acuerdo. Está bien. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. You too. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.
Well, 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 time's up. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.